Alright guys, Ryan here from Ruckus Apple Tech Help. And in the previous video, I showed you how to create your own icons for your own custom winterboard theme. Okay, I'm following it up with a part 2 here, and a possibly a part 3 to show you how to get some sounds in there. Okay, but uh, anyways, in this video we're going to cover dock, wallpaper, and lock background. Okay guys? And uh, so you're going to want to take note of this. These are your actual dimensions for each one that you're going to make. Okay, so the dock is going to be 220 by 67, your wallpaper is going to be 220 by 375, and your lock background is going to be 320 by 480. Okay, guys. And uh, wallpaper is what uh, wallpaper is what is behind your uh, icons, and lock background is your actual lock screen. Okay, so take notice of that. That's why lock background is obviously the highest. Okay, because there's no dock to get in the way. But anyways, I'm gonna take you to paint.net now, guys. So pause these and copy that for future references. Anyways, I'm going here. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, if you watched it guys, uh, I'm using the program called paint.net. I will provide a free download in the description, uh, uh, just a good link for it, so just download it. I will post that if you don't already have this. Okay, uh, you can use any program you want, as long as you can change the actual canvas size, you know, make it a different size. But uh, I highly prefer this one, and uh, to make it easier, this is what I'm using, so you can just go step by step. Okay. But anyway, guys, uh, we just saw the theme dimensions. So what we're going to do is, uh, you should have a big box. I don't know why mine's so small, but anyways, we're going to go up to image, canvas size, and then you're going to get your dimensions. Width, I believe for the dock was 320, and height was 67. Do that up, and you get this, guys. Okay. As I mentioned in my previous video, if you watched it, um, I'm in particular showing you guys how to make um, how to make your own icon basically from scratch using an image off the internet. Uh, but if you want, I will post a uh, good site in the description how to get like normal icons that you would find on your iPad when you first open it or unpackage it, and then then just mess around with the colors and uh, change the shapes a little bit. Okay, so I'll post a good site to get those. Okay, but uh, as I mentioned, I'm just using my own icons here. So, uh, I like to use a good image search, which is Google or Live Search, okay? I recommend you guys do that too. Uh, I found the same picture that I used in my icons video. I'm just going to hit copy, edit, paste. Okay, it'll give you the option to keep canvas size, expand canvas size, or cancel. Always keep the canvas size, guys, always. Alright, now we just want to kind of edit it in there. Alright, and that's it. Once you have your desired picture or a desired drawing, how you want it to be, uh, in that shape, just go to File, Save As, okay, and uh, unlike last video where we saved it to the Icons folder inside of your Theme folder, we're going to simply save it to the Theme folder itself, not the Icons folder, okay? So whatever you name your Theme folder, just locate that, and uh, inside this you should just see your icons folder, nothing else. Mine's completely complete, that's why you see all this. But you will just see your icons and the rest will be blank. Okay guys, oh this is your doc. So for file name there, you want to save this as doc with a capital D. Doc with a capital D. Okay. And then for save as type, you want to save it as a PNG dot PNG. Okay, PNG. PNG file. Hit save. And then uh, hit OK. Okay. Now we're moving on to the. Uh, what we're on to. Sorry. Wrong button. We're moving on to the wallpaper now. Okay. That's what's behind your icons, and it's 320 by 375. Okay. So we're gonna hit File, New, and uh, it should automatically give you the option to change the canvas size. If not, just do what we did the previous time. Go to Image and then Canvas Size and do it automatically. Okay. So it was 320. 375. Okay, and uh, that's what your wallpaper is going to look like, okay? As I mentioned for like the third time, this is what's behind your icons. That's why it's not exactly the longest or highest, tallest, I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, so I'm going to use the exact same picture, but you're probably going to find this one. You're just going to paint it in there, as I said, using the tool or paint it. Okay, but anyways, I'm making it simple. So I'm going to copy again, edit, paste, and I'm going to fit this thing in here. Alright, so have the shape. Uh, once again, no editing is done because it's already square. Unlike the icons where you have to run out the corners, none of that needed here. So we're going to go File, Save As. Okay guys, 
file name. Hold on, I'll set my camera down. We're saving it as wallpaper. With a capital W. Wallpaper with a capital W. And you guessed it, save as type PNG. Okay, PNG, that PNG right there. We're going to hit save. And once again, if I didn't mention it, or if you didn't guess, it's, it's in the actual theme folder, not the icons folder, just the actual theme folder. Okay, hit OK, and, uh, and then we're going to file new again, because we have one left. This is the lock background. New, uh, as I mentioned, it should give you the canvas option to set whatever height and width you want. But if not, as I mentioned before, just go into image, and then canvas size, and set it how you want, okay? Now the lock background, I believe, is 320 by 480. Check that out. Am I right? Yeah, 320 by 480. Okay. So I'm taking the exact same picture as I mentioned because I'm making it easy. I'm just showing you guys the steps. Okay. Edit. Paste. Alright. Uh, as I mentioned, just fit it in there to your liking, whenever you're comfortable with it. There we go. Okay. And then file. Save as. Uh, once again, in the actual theme folder, no icons folder. And we're going to save it as lock background. Okay? It, no spaces and a capital L and B. So lock with a capital L, no space, background with a capital B. Okay, spelled exactly as it is. And once again, file type, .png. Okay? Hit save. And uh, you're good for this portion, guys. Uh, stick around for the third and final part. I'm going to show you how to get your custom sounds. So uh, when you, for instance, here, uh, hold on. Hold on, guys, we'll get the camera issue. Let me see Okay. So for instance, when you uh, hit slide to unlock, you're going to get some sounds. And then when you uh, go back out, or lock it rather, you're going to get another sound. Okay, and you can put them pretty much anything you want. Uh, anything you would like, such as getting a new mail, a sending mail, or uh, anything else like that, okay? So, uh, oh, and also in this video, I'm going to show you the final process on how to SSH these into your iPod. Okay, so SSH your own theme, if you guys are learning how to do that. So I will finish up in the next video with sounds and SSHing process, okay? Stick around for that, guys. Uh, in the meantime, create your icons and all three that I showed you in this video. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, comment or PM me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.